This is Chuck Rapp with Multiply, a podcast to provide a word of encouragement for village church planters. In my most recent message, I shared about the necessity of Christ-following leaders living a godly lifestyle that demonstrates a life set apart for the Lord's service. Today, I'd like to continue that theme as we look at 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. In the language of the old King James, we're called a peculiar people. The New International Version translates this phrase as God's special possession. Other translations use God's own people or a people of his own. I personally like the Amplified Version, which describes us as a special people for God's own possession. Well, what does it mean to be God's own possession? The Apostle Paul answers that question for us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Honor God with your bodies. That's consistent with the key scripture in our previous message. 2 Timothy chapter 2, 19b to 22 instructs us that the, the Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from evil. Now, in a wealthy home, there are not only gold and silver vessels, but also ones made of wood and of clay. Some are for honorable use, but others for ignoble use. So, if someone cleanses himself of such behavior, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart, useful for the master, prepared for every good work. But keep away from youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faithfulness, love, and peace. Returning now to 1 Peter 2, 9, we may ask, well, why are we to be God's own people? What's the purpose or outcome? Peter explains, it is so that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. We are called to declare his praises. What a privilege and what a responsibility. We are also called out of darkness and are called to walk in his wonderful light. 1 John 1, 5b to 7 reminds us that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us from all sin. Because you have been purchased by God through the high price of Jesus Christ's sacrificial death, you are his special possession. You have high value because of the price that was paid. This has been a word of encouragement for village church planters.